I will react to PewDiePie's video because I want to talk about the deeper aspect of skibbity drama. Bruh. Skibbity deception that um, people are pulling on each other. Yes, I can criticize anyone I want. They will not even watch my video, the PewDiePie guy, the Mr. Beast guy, and whatever you have it. All right, people have realized of like, we can criticize Mr. Beast and get away with it because he's not gonna say anything. So the dog pack is piling and I'm very glad that that's what's going on. Yes, this is my human shield. It's also PewDiePie's human shield for some reason because guess what? There's a, always a strategy against haters or whatever, right? So PewDiePie uses human shields and uh, Mr. Beast uses um, money. Just throws money at haters of like, stop hating. Here's money. Here's reputation uh, for me and money for you. Here's Logan Paul. You like Logan Paul. I put it in a video, guys. No, I don't like Logan Paul. What are you going to do about that? The only thing that's sacred on YouTube is a subscription. This cannot be taken away from me and from you. It's a relationship. It's a handshake. You like my videos, subscribe, check out my other videos to see if, if I'm worthy of your attention. Because I hope I am. I'm a YouTube CEO. That's what I want to be publicly. I want to bring positivity to YouTube because Every PewDiePie's video since recent times, it's sludge, it's garbage, it starts like this. This is where it starts, this is the starting frame. Because he doesn't want to take himself seriously to be able to do as many mistakes and as much negativity as possible and use human shields like Markiplier to pretend that he's more positive than Markiplier. Great, wonderful news. And then there's the, the zombie apocalypse. of people trying to stop me of like i want to eat this big youtuber no you can't do that and just a bunch of zombies just pile on each other to try and stop me bro oh you're just doing it for the views you're just doing because you're hungry <laughs> yeah but like can i get some views though no can i get some likes no nothing i get nothing for just uh, you didn't found a reason to like my videos, to like the effort that I put in. There's nothing unique or uh, important in my videos for you to, you know, find for yourself, to learn, to have information disclosed to you. No, that's not important. It's just pure zombie apocalypse, bro. Everyone's just blobbing into a massive gang of bullying and hurting other people and stopping them from you know attempting to to be youtubers in the first place and yet yeah, still my greatest success of all the things that i'm doing all the things that i'm doing the greatest success is just drama and slandering people that's it that's that's all there is i'm just slandering madpad slandering mark rober Umpoville has uh, found my video, by the way, because he has to. He's that sort of dude, but he doesn't have t enough time sometimes, so he didn't click and watch. Penguin slandered, because I fucking realized, like, they're just sludge. There's just negative sludge, is manipulative, too. They find their own way of strategizing uh, against the algorithm. That's kind of cool, but... Not really. MatPad is a very interesting example. If you search game theory, like his face literally shows up because he's just losing sanity and he wants to hide away from the spotlight because he might do something really fucking stupid that uh, cannot be. Like it, if MatPad shows signs of mental illness, uh, 
his reputation is doomed entirely. He just exposes the biggest problem on YouTube is just sludge. Like, look at all this fucking scary thumbnail garbage going on. Never ending. That's what this channel turned into. And uh, it didn't used to be that way. All right. The world that MacPat actually created, the game theory and film theory, the things that he cared about just turned into a horror show. And the things that he kind of liked, like food and style, I mean, that worked out. A girl is taking care of style theory, and she's a pretty interesting person. And then the food theory is just good concept. So we have like a 50-50 absolute garbage, dog shit internet content that I wouldn't be able to show to anyone, let alone children. I wouldn't want to show this to anyone, not a single person. Maybe only Markiplier is watching these videos, but just like millions of views of just idiots, basically. Whoever is what, like, you're an idiot. I'm sorry, bro. Tell me. What's so important about watching these fucking garbage videos right now? Disney is where where we should turn into for help. Like we really need Disney's help to just step in and bring us some positivity and like innocent fun again. We need Disney to just take over YouTube because anytime I I try to tell people that's like the content is not positive enough. It's not good enough. Just zombie apocalypse happens on my channel. Everyone just fucking slanders me back. You know, that's just what it is. They take my shit, whatever they can get away with. They just take that and manipulate others and scare others into doing the same thing. You know, the, the blob is about doing the same thing for everyone. Just being an NPC. Just disagreeing with me simply because everyone does the same thing. So it's like, it's crazy. You should just stand up for yourself, by the way. If you're my subscriber, you have to stand up for yourself. That's your duty. Because you know enough to know that everyone else is just an NPC, just ant venom. A blob of ants trying to be bigger than me, even though none of them have the guts to actually like build a YouTube channel and make a video about me and what they don't like about me or whatever. None of them have guts to actually mention me in a fucking YouTube video or have no skills to do so. So a word, what's up? Who are you guys? Who the fuck are you? You know, I don't even have to show my face because there's none of my opponents have done anything against me. If there are any. There's just fanboys who get upset. That's it. It's just the same thing masked as some uh, the big blob of things. No, it's just people get upset because I mentioned Technoblade. I mentioned some YouTuber they like and just like, what's up, you know? If they, if they have some kind of reputation, uh, the fanboys are going to go hard on me. But that's just what you have to do. You just have to eat. Just keep on eating, bro. Maybe I'll make a new YouTube channel or just I eat the zombie channel. Big ass zombie channel where I just throw sludge as well. I'm just eating YouTubers, big ass YouTubers and showing how shitty their content is. This is one of those videos. I hope it does pretty well. For now, the zombie channel is going to be here. And it's not going to be as apparent. I did these videos reacting to Katy Perry and Taylor Swift, and they're not bad people. They did a bad thing, just an example of like how bad looks like. So Taylor Swift still endorses the lefty fucking propaganda, and all the celebrities do that because they just do that, you know? Like, they don't really care about politics, so they're just gonna support the shittier side of things where like people. Uh, normally don't disagree, there's just more people in there, right? It's just easier to be a dumbass than a smart person, so of course they're just gonna support that side where it has more people so you can become more popular. 
Anyways, so Taylor Swift comes out with the shittiest post I've ever seen. It's like, not, not, it has no substance. And I was able to laugh at it for like one hour, pretty much. Uh, Katie, on the other hand, comes out with a music video that also is absolute dog shit. So, uh, until you realize it's art, you know. It's just a depiction of women's world, of how shitty the women's world is. It's not her. It's the women's world that's the problem. It's not Taylor Swift. It's just the political uh, twist, twisted world that's the problem. Taylor is a working person, as a country singer, background person, would never go to a left side. And I'm realizing of like, she would never support the left. Like her soul does not belong there. So what's, what's the problem here? The problem is that just she's the best and she has to support the left just to see what happens, just to see if she can squeeze out something out of her system that doesn't look like garbage. And she couldn't do that. So uh, here you go. Simple as that. But with men, it's a little bit different. You know, seasons come and go. Men become toxic eventually. They try really hard to get to the top. When they get to the top, it's impossible to stay there. It's impossible to be good for a long time. All right, the gravity just pulls you down, finds your weaknesses and exploits your weaknesses. And Mr. Beast is going to go down. But who's going to take over Mr. Beast? Is there going to be another T-Series moment? Please. Disney is our only hope. Is our only hope it has positivity, it has a lot of people liking it, it's just Disney doesn't give a fuck about itself, and doesn't care about YouTube, treats YouTube still like shit, and we have to treat Disney now like shit in return. There's no other way of doing it. However, not only there's hope, there's a lot of it. Alright? Uh, on this list, there's Disney. I have I've been able to pull Disney to 2,000 views all right and uh, i've been able to pull unspeakable slowly and surely he was risen like uh, lava does just slowly takes over and collects views and maybe this is just an evergreen video that will always do that you know i just made the best video ever on my channel who knows but these two people i respect sniper of i respect overall uh well two people we have disney and just people who are just better than the youtuber in their category so in unspeakable category the only other youtuber that's higher is mr beast and i am comparing mr beast with unspeakable and i'm like unspeakable is better as long as you take the good stuff and throw out the trash all right, skip the trash, take the good stuff. Because the cringe will always, like, bring someone down. But Unspeakable also, like, improved his content significantly at some point. And now he's so such much better creator all of a sudden. And, again, comparable to Mr. Beast? Absolutely, bro. I think he's better. I'm still stuck watching Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast look makes videos look better, absolutely, and uh, it's like a more twisted video, right? A, a bigger plot, but Un Unspeakable has the charm of just you never know what's gonna happen, and just tailing Mr. Beast is a beautiful race to the top. So with this amount of context. You hate on me, bro. Hate on me. Try your bestest. Most people, most YouTubers at the top, and most people agree on like general terms. It's just the moment you attack PewDiePie or anyone in particular, except Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast can be attacked and hated all day long. He's just not gonna care, anyways. You know, there's not even a chance for him to care. So people just allow haters to do that, to just manifest. And it's like, okay, I do have Iron Man suit and I will hate, I can hate on Mr. Beast super hard. 
by doing it occasionally, you know? Just occasionally. I can nibble on Mr. Beast as a gourmet meal that he is. Obviously, people who make uh, drama channels and just slander Mr. Beast exclusively are losers as well. Everyone knows that they're losers and it's just funny to laugh at them for how big of a meme they become. See, I have rocket ship channel to make this rocket shit video where I talk about the sludge, but right now we're talking about like big topics. Uh, I really don't want to do this on the main channel, so I'm promoting the the thing where I dump all that sludge reaction videos. Oh, by the way, one click away from a thousand views. That's amazing. This is where Mr. Beast is, and this is what I was talking about. This is the context of just uh, shitty videos. And this is exactly what you're going to see when you click. Just shitty videos flooding, slandering Mr. Beast. That's what people are going to get addicted to because they, they get views from it. Just people are getting addicted of hating Mr. Beast because they know they're not going to get anything in return. There's not, not going to be like fanboys defending him. They're just going to allow it. It's just what it is. I would recommend attacking Oompaville, by the way. Is the same narcissistic piece of shit. A little bit harder to attack, but uh, it actually is interesting. Because he does have fanboys who will come at you. But they come at you fucking hard, bro. It's just a flood of ass. I, w I want you to... Uh, Try this guy. If you're making content for some reason and you don't want to disclose that you care about my videos, here you go. This is the bad boy you want to go after to have a feeling of like, you're still fighting a narcissist. You're still fighting Mr. Beast garbage who throws money at people whenever uh, they get out of control. But he will, he will allow you to hate on him for as long as you want. Because he knows, and every other YouTuber knows, the fanboys are attacking you. But he will fucking watch from afar and just fucking pick up popcorn and be like, Oh, let's see how much how much hate this person will get from my fans. It's just very interesting YouTube ecosystem. But it's just made out of zombies anyways. NPC Zombies Ant Venom uh, is a good name. Good name to describe the zombie... Uh, sort of formation of what's going on. They blob themselves. They try to conjure the spirit of the YouTuber, whatever that YouTuber might be. PewDiePie? Mm hmm? What, like any any time a YouTuber could respond to you, they have so much reputation, they would destroy you, they would ratio you. You constantly get reminded of just this vibe. No one actually says that in particular, except when I talked about this guy. When you talk about smart people, there are always going to be fanboys who think that the smart person is smarter than me. You know, and I'm like, we don't know that. We don't, we don't know that, though. We're not that smart to know who, who is smarter. All right? We have to put something side by side and have an actual way of evaluating who is smarter otherwise you just not you don't fucking know bro you don't know who is smarter how do you figure that out based on subscriber well, on what basis i'm sorry bro it's just not gonna happen bro just because someone is a professor and older than me they're smarter is that how you do it well, that doesn't sound fucking uh, respectable or easy in any way to just decide that. Those are the people that uh, come and actually reveal the last piece of the puzzle and tell you that you got, you, you, you're getting ratioed here, basically, bro. These people are bigger and smarter and better than you, and you should just give up and, like, shut the fuck up, basically. That's it. It's kind of fucking annoying, bro. People shouldn't praise celebrities for fuck's sake. Celebrities have to beg for money and attention. That's it. 
we should praise those who don't who are not so fortunate who are on the edgy side but still making a good content not like fucking metal music artists who are just like wacky and weird no not that edgy just people who are trying to do the same thing but are not as successful as the the top of the leaderboard everyone wants the biggest thing and uh yeah let's watch this frame Stop! too long so two points of sludge i'm collecting sludge as you can see i'm at i don't know vpn advertisement that's where i am i have pretty bad sense of humor absolutely <laughs> but there's not enough context actually given <laughs> Also, uh, PewDiePie has a pretty bad sense of content, by the way. <laughs> also, just like low quality and garbage, and a lot of the stuff is not credited to anyone. I think PewDiePie is just scared of like reacting to TikToks. <laughs> <in the first place. laughs> now, I'm not gonna slander PewDiePie for not crediting things, it's Jack's film's thing to do. Just to focus on this one piece of sludge. But uh, you do you, Jax Films. Catch them all, is what I would say to Jackson. Not, not just Sniper Wolf. You can't catch Sniper Wolf just by focusing on her. You know, you can get out-hated, is what happened to Jax Films. You think you're the biggest hater? Sniper Wolf just fucking went, fucking, I'm the biggest hater. And I'm like, wow, cheers. That was beautiful. 35 is realizing the biggest hater on the internet. I I think that's respectable. I think what Nightwolf did is like super respectable and just straight up badass at this point. The next point. load of love. And I just saw this. I'm <laughs> and we have decided that I'm smart enough to just declare the end of drama and whatever Jacksons is going to try and conjure up again. Like there's going to be a blockade of like leave Sniper Wolf alone, bro. You have done that. You can't get the second chance, Jax Films. You got one chance. And he's gonna cry like a fucking baby, bro. It's so funny. Like, internet is so fun. And I, please subscribe, okay? Please. You want to know more. I know you... We, we both know we need more information about how shit weird the internet is. I'm not saying shit. Because there's a lot of good stuff. And on YouTube Rewind, you're gonna see that. You're gonna see how cool internet is. Me and some cutes. Tiny laundry. He just throws that in there because he's a fucking dad. And uh, it's a human shield, boys. Smile is a human shield, by the way. Lying is a human shield. This is uh, what PewDiePie does. He can't fucking control himself. And when I bring that up, obviously people are gonna be pissed off, like, why are you destroying this beautiful lie? Well, I don't care no more. He's supposed to have been retired, but he's not retired. He's still promoting VPN. You know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean by this? By this segment? Promoting the same thing, by the way. Like, just promote different products. You are a big enough YouTuber to get money from different products. So, like, at least do that. At least, like leech all the monies instead it feels like he's not only from uh, promoting things which breaks down his retirement as a lie but also promoting some shady activity which is vpn it's more dangerous to use a vpn than not to use vpn i'm pretty sure about that so i'm like i'm i'm just genuinely scared of like what the fuck is going on with pewdiepie but for the last four years, ever since the war against T-Series, PewDiePie just uploaded sludge garbage content. Not worth watching, bro. Just reacting to shit and it's like, whatever. I it's couldn't sludge. do it. It's Hi, I'm Tara. <clears throat> Hi, this I'm is Sarah. an interesting one, though. And my friend broke her neck in a skiing accident that left her paralyzed from the neck down, and I brought Sour Patch Watermelon. Hi, I'm Tara. My friend broke her neck in a skiing accident that left her paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah, I got Tara it. On your clusters. Isn't that a little candy Hi, in I'm it? Becca, I broke my. It's a very interesting and deep 
experience and all all the PewDiePie does to react to that video is I Yes, we got it, Becca. You broke your neck. We said it twice. <laughs> what the f is wrong with people? That's it. That's all he said. And by the way, what the hell is wrong with people is something that he should say to himself. So he just said one sentence to react to that video. You know, that other piece of sludge that Jackson was trying to talk about of just like uh, improperly reacting to things. Yeah, you have to find better content where you can just say more than one fucking sentence. Unless it's your first time reacting. Then it changes everything. All right, then you're trying to get a reaction out of it. You're trying not to laugh, basically, which is a very interesting disguise uh, to react channel, reacting for the first time. But then you have to make it a challenge. I feel like it's forced. Now, this is a very interesting because I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I still would bring that Mr. Beast PewDiePie vibe of like, just like, they just laugh at other people's uh, downfalls while they themselves just take everything. Hi, I'm Tara. My friend broke her neck in a skiing accident that left her paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah, I got Tara it. On your clusters. Isn't that a little can- You almost feel like they did it, bro. That the, they fucking made her ski in the first place. They made it cool to ski. And they just got her into an accident and now just making fun of her. Just sitting here of like, oh my god, our friend has fucking got paralyzed. And we're just gonna and not yeah. let her speak. I broke my we're just not even gonna let her speak because this is what we have to train ourselves to do, basically. It's just full-on fucking horror that women have created for PewDiePie to react to, which is amazing. PewDiePie just went into the trap zone, basically. Trap zone activate. I love this shit, bro. Women and positivity are on only hope to defeat. Like, Marcy is doing a lot of work to actually restrain PewDiePie from uploading videos. So first of all, PewDiePie has to take care of his family, you know, and he has to be in Japan, where there's a lot of rules, a lot of things to do, basically, a lot of things to be distracted by. Marcy is actually doing more work than you can fucking imagine by restraining PewDiePie from being the fucking sludge garbage that he is on the internet. You don't always see the the inner workings of what's happening in the background until you really spin your head around and it's really difficult to do that some insights the deeper you go into the video like holy crap man so let's skip that nord vpn bullshit although i saw it's just something scary you know use it for me the way he promotes vpn is also important after all like it's a deep-seated topic of like Oh, you trust me? Oh, you trust me? Oh, you trust me? Oh, I stole all your data and passwords and everything. Oh, I'm so sorry, bro. It just leaked, you know? It just fucking leaked. I'm so sorry, bro, man. You just got paralyzed from the top down, you know? You just, just got paralyzed and blackmailed and all the fucking garbage happened to you. I'm so sorry, bro. That's what VPN stands for in actuality. Yes, we got it, bitch. Really? At least he had time to make- Don't believe what- I don't even understand his reaction, by the way. At least he had time to make that. Do you have time to do that for yourself? Get out of here. What does that mean? You had time to do that. Is that like... He is judging people? Or having time because he's spending time with- Like, what- What's going on here? Like, I'm so- This is so annoying to me. This drama, this you this skibbity fucking YouTube era where every YouTuber is secretly garbage. You're not I'm going not to sorry, believe bro. what NordVPN best VPN. There's shut the fuck. Up. Other VPNs is better. Obviously, it's oh yeah, it's more than just a VPN online. You Nord wants to keep you safe, and it's not a Viking fucking apocalypse going on. Viking takeover of the internet to try and take as many fucking uh, people hostage as possible. Hey, I know you did online, all right? Your game, all right? Your games, your movies, your photos, private info, emails. Don't lose access of that. Maybe one. Yeah, 
How would I lose axes though? One day you done. And obviously, section built in service. Oh yeah, you can just randomly click on an email, and unfortunately, that will get you. And uh, I don't deny that. It's just for me, it's unlikely personally. You know, no one's gonna target me, unfortunately. Comes to stay safe behind a wall of next generation yes, encryption, with me for free. Get it at Nord. Wow. Guarantee you can just. Uh, there's too much shit on the screen, just that alone. Just been yapping. Yeah, you have been yapping. You know what else? YouTubers have been promoting better help. And what did that do? Just took people's money. This is supposed to, which money, which literally leads towards mental clarity of just like mental ease of like nothing bad can happen to me because I have enough money. That's the way to cure mental illness in the first place. Just have enough money. Just have enough ease of like, I can always just lean on to having money and not doing too much. I'm going to have time left. I can relax. I can chill. I can just do things with money. Instead, you spend money on fucking therapy and uh, you lose. The same way it goes here. You want security and you just give up all your data to some fucking VPN company. And bam, slam. Oops, everything leaked. Oh, oops, everything just got, uh, you know, un uncrypted and we just got all your data and all that secret shit. It's like, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. What happened to you? Too? Hypocrisy is very likely, my friends. Hypocrisy is something that should never happen and you should try and avoid it as much as possible. And even saying it out loud is like very difficult to deal with hypocrisy, but better help is the most hypocritical bullshit of all time. And uh, I imagine all these like internet security firms do the same thing. It's a hypocrisy business. And you're like, why? Very similar to like NFTs. NFT is a hypocrisy simply because it was promoted by apes, you know, by stupidity of like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just buying. Yeah, that's hypocrisy. And people just bought into it. It's just the buddies just apes, you know, you're stupid. If you're buying this, you're just a fucking ape. You don't see that. And it's like, nah, people just bought into it anyway. Celebrity simply just spends like a billion dollars to call everyone an ape. That's all they did. It's like, oh, you're an ape. You, you like this shit. You like pixels on a screen so much when you feel like you can own something. It's so fascinating to me. It's more of an irony than hypocrisy, but I'll just pretend that it is hypocrisy video like I'm seeing this video like why is the algorithm showing me this yeah because i'm subscribed dumbass. video and then you open the comment what oh you open comments because I wish. you needed an insight <laughs> instead of only focusing on how i feel um, <laughs> she just looked like an act we're going to hell let's go Chris, guess we're going to hell <laughs> 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 this is this is content guys <laughs> hey, status yeah that's very good content i'm not gonna lie Eddie K, please try see like he's trying to make garbage look cool and at some point it's just it's garbage though you're surrounded by garbage not that legal it's cool when it's like unusual right but it's no longer unusual what he just did. It's all garbage. It's all same garbage. It's all same fucking Bono of the barrel. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm uh, maybe leave the five times his divorce out. No, you shouldn't be honest about it. I ah, fuck it. Oh, like declining birth rate rates. Oh, yeah. I Japan too? Can't be, that can't be. So disgusting. So disgusting. <laughs> I'll leave the creepy shit unslugged. Oh, oh, Married the classic. Uh, I don't even know what he reacted to, to be honest.
most of these like i can't even pay attention because he's not even reacting enough to like understand the joke for us right i can't even chill oh it's like this is not on my feed this would never be on my feed i don't understand what's going on and pewdiepie even doesn't understand what's going on most of the time because he's looking for these edgy jokes that like hard to understand or something Remove the comment. The polls, bro. How do they do that? The polls. The the polls were five times divorced as the joke. It's like ridiculous. And then people in the comments have to react for PewDiePie to understand the joke, and then PewDiePie is gonna be like, "Oh yes, it's I, I've never seen anything so fucking dumb on the internet, bro. Like, what the hell are we even doing at this point? I think that attention. We're reacting to a TikTok without credit." Then reacting to the comments that explains the joke for PewDiePie, so PewDiePie can tell one line of a reaction of some kind, you know? It's still, I would post with dumbest. We have to, we have to like, oh my god, that's oh my god, crazy, bro. How do people do that? Look at me. They're all laughing. Look at me, I'm so much better me, than them. They are. What the f? Delete it and feel bad. That's what you should do, and quit life while you're- Uh, no you. You're ahead. I could have been in this- Jesus, he went too far again. ...crowd of people to see- ...in this crowd of people to see a YouTube celebrity. It's like, uh... Could have been <laughs> ...million views. I would like to beat Mr. Beast. Please subscribe. It's kinda of fucked up. It's not too fucked up, but it's like PewDiePie ran out of reasons for people to subscribe to him anyways. It's it's no longer cool. It just is what it is, bro. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> Can't say that. I don't understand. Neither the reaction nor the TikTok. Nor if it's a TikTok or Instagram real. Yes, in the comments. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Th this one actually made me laugh. Or chuckle because I'm uh, restraining myself. <laughs> this is so much, bro. Fucking KO triple hit combo, bro. <laughs> Fucking uh, rapology, bro. Book about uh, how to be a, the biggest predator of all time. <laughs> Why did he? And turn everyone to gay frogs. Here you go. That's my commentary. What's this your is commentary? My comment, though. <laughs> why? Oh, why? Yeah. Uh, why? One words. Cool. Yes, yes. <laughs> this will never not be funny. Come on. Come on! Should I now give doubles? Sorry for yelling. Shitty commentary and yelling and then being sorry for yelling. Because he has nothing to say. Made the movie Speed was titled Fart. Dumb, dumb Norwegian strike again. It's actually the same in Swedish. Damn! Yeah, because that's what VPN does best. Reduce your speed. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, for uh, chuckling, I'm going to reduce Sludge because he picked uh, a good one. Say your name and I'll buy you whatever you want. What's your name? That's my Benjamin. Ah, uh, come on, idiot horse. Also, like, why do you po- Why do you po- Why did you po- Everyone's so desperate for a t You- Yeah, why did you post this, PewDiePie? <laughs> Oh, you can't say that. You can't say that for some reason. I wonder why. Collins, I am trying to be good. Yeah, but well, you're not good. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> it is funny, but PewDiePie didn't laugh. Smoking in an elevator, bro. Thank you. That's... Thank you so much for 112 million subs. I can bounce back. I can bounce. What a weirdo, man. 
That's the thing too, as a guy you want to- You want to mansplain, let's get real here. I want to explain, I don't know it. Well, it's not mansplaining. It's just what men's supposed to be doing. It's not an evil thing just because some fucking witches decided it is evil, you know. You should have still self-esteem for yourself. Anyways, that's PewDiePie, right there. In a nutshell. Or out of the nutshell, to be honest. Fucking crazy. I'm not gonna hurt him too much, but... I'm upset. Bye.